that the big eight Imperium KVK is finally over, but unfortunately, we've lost. <laughs> GG's to our allies and our opponents for an action packed KVK, but at the end of the day, 1916 their allies ended up being too much for us in the five side to handle. What's up everybody, it's Plato Gaming here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a brief overview of what happened in this KVK, the current KVK stats and standings, and finally, what the plans are for the account and the channel moving forward. The KVK fighting officially started on October 7th, 2023, which is when the Pass 5s opened so that the Zone 6 openings would commence. And the thing that was crazy about this is Zone 6 opened on October 7th and Kingsland opened on the 23rd. So that's about 16 days worth of fighting before you go into Kingsland. Um, and I guess the biggest thing going into this zone where it was 1034 um, 1v and us 2268 versus 1960 was to make sure when Kingsland opened, we would still have control of this pass over here so that we can hopefully have five passes because we did have two kingdoms pushing in on this side against 1671 it was 1671 versus 1875 and 2891 so we expected to have control of these two passes the real question was would we be able to hold off against 960 as they tried to push and pursue for this pass seven here so what ended up happening was there were two sets of fort walls there's our fort wall we knew that we couldn't open field fight against 960 for 16 days straight and still have enough in the tank for kingsland um so it was mostly just trying to preserve while trying to protect as much territory as possible in this zone and for the other side it was the opposite for our opponents they wanted to preserve as much territory as possible um and maybe try to push out to this pass seven once pass six is opened so when pass six is opened our allies being 1606 and the opponents being 2377 came in it was much of the same honestly we couldn't push the fort wall anymore because all three opponent kingdoms were able to protect this fort wall um and at the same time they couldn't break through our fort wall leading into a three pass to five pass kingsland so when we got into kingsland day one was really really good 1034 was able to get some buffer territory um, we were able to build up to pretty much our coalition surrounded the zig ziggurat within the first day and a half um, but what ended up happening was all our kingdoms on our side had downtime especially compared to 1960 which feels like they have no downtime and 2377 had downtime but it was only for a couple hours and they were able to leverage our downtime more than we were able to leverage theirs and that ended up being in my opinion the, the, the decision maker of how we started losing territory and by the fifth day we ended up getting kicked out so yeah fast forwarding to today pass fours have unlocked 960 has captured our starting zone and they've also captured the past five here from 1034 although we did carpet the zone i'm just i've just been barb chaining it out trying to prepare for next kvk as 960 continues to try to encroach on more and more of the allied structures here all right so let's go into the rankings here um alliance powers gv77 from 2377 being the top powered alliance at 14.5 billion power 60 gt um from 1960 being at 14.1 and uh in from 1606 being at 12.6 are the top three currently and we can continue on i'll scroll down a little bit until we hit um some of the farm alliances here i think around here is where we could stop where a lot of these alliances have dropped a lot a lot of power these are the alliance powers alliance kills we got 960 at 2.5 trillion kills super super impressive from their part tv 77 at 1.2 trillion um, we got 1875 at 1 trillion, 1v uh, from 1034 at 900 billion. And we can continue scrolling down here. Us in 2068, we're at 687 billion, which is better than we were when we started. And we could go back all the way down until we hit uh, lines number 18 here. So there you go. These are the alliance breakdowns in terms of kill points. Individual power rankings, Mr. Hope and Wild Lion 
Um, the two whales, I believe they're a father-son duo from 2377, dropped a lot of power. I believe they started at 1.1 each, and now they're down to 700 um, each, so about 400 power lost from them. Um, and then we have MF from 1034 at 346, but a lot of the high-powered players that started off in KVK Peacemaker for us in 2268, down to 229 million power. Um, a lot of the high-powered players definitely, definitely dropping down. Um, I believe we had around 600 plus players over 100 mil. I'm going to scroll down quickly here. We only have about 107 players left in that 100 mil range, which is kind of crazy how much power it's been dropped in this KVK. All right, we could go into individual kills with Ahmad Aziz being at 58.5 billion kills, Arvex at 57.1, but Peacemaker from 2260 representing at 52 billion kills. I believe they started, Peacemaker started at like 38 something. Um, so approximately 13 billion, 14 billion KP gain and still growing from this KVK. We still have a week left of this KVK. Um, but yeah, crazy, crazy stuff from him. And GT Leopard at 51.8 billion. So four players in this KVK being above 50 billion kills. And yeah, I'm at a solid... 336th place at 10.1 billion in case anyone was wondering but yeah there are a ton of killers even if we scroll all the way down here 100th place is 19 billion kill points so a lot of fighters in this kvk so yeah that was the kvk in a nutshell um really really fun to play against 960 and their allies and shout out to our allies for putting up a good effort for the future of this channel, um, I'm going to continue creating some more videos about this KVK. What I've lined up are some of the pairs that I'm seeing from this KVK. Um, the Garrison, Rally, and Open Field pairs. We're definitely be making some videos about that within the next coming weeks. As well as when the KVK is over here in about, I believe, 4 days. 4 days, 19 hours. Um, when I'm recording this clip here, this bit here. Um, we will finally get the final stats from the season in retrospect and we could see how much resources and speed ups and all that kind of stuff we use to gain the amount of kill points and uh deads that we've gained we've gained about 4 billion here to get 10.1 billion as a spoiler but we will get the exact numbers as soon as next week i've been getting a lot of questions about what 2268 is planning to do and if i'm planning to stay in 2068 i'm not planning on leaving a uh, spoiler alert but and I believe we are open for migration, although we are going to be very, very particular. And I think the process is going to be very, we're not taking in too many migrants. It's going to be very, very streamlined. We want to kind of get the best of the best um, into our two alliances that we got going on now. So if you are interested in migration, there'll be a link in the comments and there'll also be a link in the description. So if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, send it out to your friends, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.